Ever wondered what happens when David meets Goliath in the ring? In combat sports, size mismatches create some of the most thrilling showdowns. Join us as we dive into the intense battles where giants clash with fighters half their size. Let's kick things off with MMA Attack, where the Lithuanian beef block Robert Bernika squared off against Marcin Nyman. The bodybuilder kicked things off with a bit of showboating, daring Nyman to stand up and trade punches, knowing cardio wasn't his strong suit. <laughs> But when he did go for it, Bernika charged in like a tank, putting all the kilos he'd ever lifted behind his punches. By the end of the first round, it looked less like a fight and more like two women scrapping over the same guy. Thankfully, the madness ended in the second round when Bernika blasted Nyman with a big right hand and finished him off with ground and pound. Not all giants enjoy the same fortune as Bernika. Take Hong Man Choi, who squared off against Mighty Mo. The Samoan dominated from the get go, landing heavy shots. Until a hellish right hand sent the towering titan crashing to the canvas. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And Antonio Bigfoot Silva has lived that truth time and again. Like against Zabit Zamadov in 2022, the fight wasn't even close as the smaller Zamadov rocked the human skyscrapers foundations early. Zamadov unloads with a head kick there. Zamadov soon sprinkled in a big right hand to spice things up. Bigfoot. Whoa! It's a tremendous right hand! And then served a full course meal of violence on the Brazilian, who was left swinging by the ropes like a pinata at a birthday party. Bob Sapp is another massive beast, but as they say, empty clouds seldom bring rain, and we saw another example of it when the American fought Selkuk Usbasi in kickboxing. For as long as it lasted, Usbasi came at Bob Sapp like a pit bull. A little bit hesitant to come in. Lands a big overhand right on Sapp. Look at how little the gloves look on the massive hands. And it didn't take the smaller fighter long to chop the giant down with a brutal leg kick. I can barely even hear myself think, and he hit him when he was down! Since Sap refused to stand back up, the referee waved off the fighter after the big man's corner threw in the towel. Size doesn't matter, does it? If it did, the 400-pound giant you're about to see wouldn't have folded like a deck chair against a smaller guy. Zerfinski strutted in buzzing with confidence like he was about to squish Potter with ease. But the moment the fight kicked off, Potter let his fist fly. And hit that for sure. Oh! oh! Matthew Potter walks up to him! And with one punch, sent the big man off his feet, and Potter pounded his way to a thumping victory. Oh my god! 174 kilos! Just hit the canvas. Next up is the battle between two of KSW's biggest stars in Mahmed Khalidov and the beastly Maruz Huzanowski, who started strong by muscling Khalidov against the fence. But not to let that happen. The strength of Huzanowski is too much. But Khalidov flipped the script with a slick trip that got him in a dominant position. Very nice. Khalidov outside trip takes him down. Once he got that back melt, it was game over. Next up is the fight between Fedor's protege Kirill Sidonikov and the 275-pound breakhouse Martin Saltisic, who came out swinging like his opponent had just asked him to hit the treadmill. Like a fireball, a big right hand, he's avoiding the big strikes, huge right hand by Saltisic. But when Sidonikov hit him with a straight right, 
So Tisic dropped like a barbell after a deadlift. Not at all. Win or lose, these Polish behemoths are definitely built different. Now, how much of that is horse meat and gym candy? Who knows? What we do know is that they often forget to put their protein gains to good use. And Tomas Cervinsky was no different when he fought Kataline Morisano, who battered the giant on counters. Though, Chavinsky. Oh, big, big hands there. Dropped him like weights after his final rep. Two minutes left and... And then sent him packing to the dark land with a sniper like right hand. Stefan Leko, top K1 names. Down the left hand kisses the sweet spot. If only there was a way to beef up chins. But perhaps that's where a bit of body fat comes into play, providing much needed patty. And the next fight between the jacked Ivan Stefkov and the not so jacked Yusube Unomato backs that hypothesis. As soon as the fight started, the gym bro muscled his way to a takedown and ground and pound. But his grappling heavy approach quickly winded him as he was left gasping for air once the two separated. By round two, the muscle mountain was exhausted and his Japanese foe decided to make it worse by pushing him on the feet before choking him out on the mat like a seasoned pro. Speaking of seasoned pros, the bad boy of kickboxing, Bader Hari, had a career filled with intense highs and crushing lows. But his rapid dismantling of the towering semi shilt stands as one of his crowning moments. Hari came out guns blazing, toppling the skyscraper with a flurry of brutal blows. Shilt somehow managed to rise, but Hari demolished the giant again and for good this time. Next up is the sequel to Dutch Moroccan kickboxers slaying giants, and our protagonist for this one is Ismael Lazar, who faced the six foot five beast in Daniel Sam. In round one, Lazar burst onto his opponent like a pit bull defending its territory. By round three, Sam was starting to take over with his size and strength. But just as Sam looked like he was cruising, Lazar sent him packing with a left hook. Last but not the least is a wild David vs. Goliath showdown from 2006 when Don Fry took on a colossal challenge in the form of Akabano Taro. As soon as the bell rang, Akabano charged at Fry like a runaway train. <laughs> the giant sumo controlled much of the action, but Fry remained patient, knowing the massive weight difference would eventually take its toll. Sure enough, by the second round, the exhausted sumo was ripe for the taking. <laughs> And from there, the American locked in a guillotine choke to seal the win. <laughs> Probably the hardest Don had to work. So those were 12 jaw-dropping moments where giant fighters faced opponents half their size. Which stoppage stood out to you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future content. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.